Namaste. I am with Dr. Sachita Nandan from Sri Lanka. We are here at the World Hindu Congress. What would you like the World Hindu Congress, people in the World Hindu Congress, uh, and my you know, followers in general around the world, what's, what would you like them to do? No, what, if you are defeated in a war, 2009, May 19 to 21, we were defeated. Three lakhs of our people were killed. India was party to the victory of the Sri Lankan government. Now, what happened after that? A defeat of a society. What, what, the psyche is gone. The people are in fear. People are poor. There are people without limbs, deceased, you know, rehabilitated young men who were with the war. So, we are in a state of disarray. This is a fertile ground for the missionaries to convert them. So, what you're saying is that this civil war left a huge devastation and chaos. Mm. And so, some people are being converted because the missionaries come and offer them a solution. So, offer them money. Not some. I will tell you statistics. Trincomalee district, post-war conversion, number has the, the, increases, the increase of the non-Catholic Christian group is 500%. Non-Catholic Christian, yes. so Protestant. Protestant. Protestant groups have gone up 500%. 500% in Trincomalee district, 502% or so. 503% in Batikalo district. In Noralia district, it is 45%. In Jaffna, it's about uh, 108%. So Growth. The, the overall, the population decreased. The Hindu population, Tamil population decreased. Because of, uh, you know, we went to, to other countries. Many, there are about 15 lakhs of us in very many countries distributed. We got killed over a period of 30 years. Many thousands got killed. So, there was a decrease in population. It was 15% Hindus. Is now We are now 12% Hindus. What, what is the percentage of uh, Christians? What is the percentage of Muslims? 7.8% so, so Muslims are now 9.6% of the population. 7% uh, of the Christians are now 8% of the population. I am talking about the Sinhalese and the So, Chinese. what you are saying is that the Hindu population has decreased and the population of Muslim Christians has increased because in a nutshell what it means is, as I understand it, the civil war uh, left a devastation, psychological devastation, material, physical, economic, all of that. And so, these uh, Islam and Christianity benefited by converting those people. They, they not only benefited, do, do I say benefited or they, they, they devastated our, our social fabric? They de because, if, I will tell you an example. I have, I am a very poor person. Somebody dies in my family. The first thing is the father who comes with the coffin. Second thing, he comes with the money. Our priest takes time to come to perform the last ceremony. So, he starts performing the prayer and japa. So, so basically, uh, the, the s slow response rate of the Hindu in a calamity and the rapid response of the missionary, Christian missionary, uh, makes it more is interesting and pra practical for a person to convert. So, it's also, it's also, you have to take the responsibility for the Hindu side that they have to shape up, they have to be more competent, more yes. efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't just blame others because we live in a world of competition. Yes. Uh, so, everybody is going to promote their point of view and if somebody else is playing the game better, we can't just blame them because they are playing the game better. No, we, how can we be better equipped because, you see, we find uh, the, the entire people of 10, 10 to 15 lakhs of people are outside our country. Our resources have been depleted. Our economy is in shambles. So, you are not being helped by your own people. No, no. That is the main problem. The main problem is, the Christians there are being helped by their people elsewhere. They no, they are, their resources. they are helped by the West. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're being helped by their people wherever they are. But the Tamil Hindus who are doing very well in other countries have abandoned you. Even the, you know, we were, we are appealing to the Indian, Indian Hindus, the diaspora Hindus to help us because this is, if you don't help, the rate at which uh, yesterday, uh, no, last week they burnt a newspaper in Jaffna. That paper carried a report saying the Muslims are going to take uh, over the Tamils as the second largest community in India, in Sri Lanka. 
So the Muslims got, took the newspaper and burnt it because of that news, which is a fact that we are going to be the third uh, minority. We are actually Buddhist, first, uh, second Hindus, third Christians, fourth Muslims. So what we are saying is, at first we were number one, then we became number two, now, then now we are going to end up in number four. <laughs> we are going down. So, first, so, so this, this, is a, this is a problem of lack of cohesiveness of Hindus because the Hindu is doing very well from Sri Lanka, he's migrated to Malaysia, he's migrated to all over the world and he says, well, I'm doing fine, why should I care? That's the issue. That's a selfishness, lack of uh, unity, lack of understanding each other's problems, which is what this World Congress is trying to address to get Definitely. people together. So on that note, we will conclude and I want to help you, support you. Maybe I'll visit uh, Jaffna, maybe I'll visit you in Sri Lanka and we'll uh, bring our camera crew and make some... You're some... welcome. We will welcome you with open arms. We will welcome you with gardens. We will welcome all Hindus coming there to support us because this is the time uh, you, we need the support. All these years, we never asked uh, any uh, outside Hindus to support us. In fact, we gave refuge to the Tamil Nadu Hindus. We were so powerful, we were so generous. We received them, looked after them and sent them back when Malikafur came. So, let's see what we can do for each other again. We are, we are really grateful to you. You are a in source of inspiration. Your media is a source of inspiration. Your books are a source of uh, strength to us. Thank you for your words, views and your visionary uh, missions which will take the Hindus to, back to their uh, glorious days. Thank you very much for your kind words and uh, we'll work together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here and also hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified. To donate, please click this button.